Have you ever wondered how our ancestors dealt with the call of nature? Let's dive into the fascinating history of toilets. Our journey takes us back to the Neolithic era in Scotland, around 3000 BC. Here, archaeologists have uncovered remnants of primitive toilets, essentially stone huts with drains built into village walls. While they may not resemble the porcelain thrones we're familiar with today, these structures were a community's answer to waste management in their time. Meanwhile, on the sun-drenched banks of the Nile, ancient Egyptians were also developing their own systems. They designed toilets for the elite, which were essentially wooden stools with a hole, and pots for collecting waste. Over in the Indus Valley, the civilization that now spans present-day Pakistan and northwest India, they were a step ahead. They had advanced sewage systems, complete with brick-lined streets for waste removal, dating back to around 2500 BC. So, the concept of a toilet isn't as modern as we might think. From the Neolithic era, we move forward to the lavish lavatories of the ancient civilizations. Let's start with the Indus Valley Civilization, one of the earliest urban societies to emerge in the world. They were remarkably advanced for their time, showcasing a sophisticated understanding of urban planning and sanitation. The cities of Harappa and Mohenjo-Daro, for instance, had a network of covered drains running under the streets, which connected to individual houses. Each home had a private bathroom, complete with a brick-lined pit that served as a toilet. The waste was then carried away by these drains, demonstrating a level of hygiene and sanitation that was truly ahead of its time. Now, let's travel west to ancient Rome, a civilization famed for its engineering feats. The Romans introduced the concept of communal toilets, or latrines, as an integral part of their public bathhouses. These were essentially long benches with holes on top and running water beneath to carry away the waste. Not only did these public conveniences serve a practical purpose, but they also functioned as social hubs where Romans could chat and catch up on the day's news. But what about the first flush toilets you ask? Well, for that we need to head to the island of Crete, home to the Minoan civilization. The palace of Knossos in particular boasted a remarkably advanced plumbing system. It included terracotta pipes that carried water and waste, and some of the chambers even had a primitive flushing mechanism. This involved pouring jugs of water down the toilet to flush away the waste, a concept that wouldn't be replicated until thousands of years later. So, as we've journeyed through these ancient civilizations, we've seen that our ancestors were far more advanced in their sanitation practices than one might initially think. They laid the groundwork for the modern systems we have today, proving that necessity truly is the mother of invention. Isn't it fascinating to see such advanced systems in place thousands of years ago? But as we venture into the Dark Ages, the progress in toilet technology seems to regress. This era marked a decline in sanitation practices. The sophisticated plumbing systems of ancient civilizations fell into disuse, and public health suffered as a result. Most people relieved themselves wherever they could, often in the streets or fields, leading to severe pollution and disease outbreaks. The chamber pot, a simple, portable toilet, became a staple in households. It was emptied out of windows, usually without a warning shout, adding to the filth in the streets. Public latrines, communal spaces with multiple seats, also came into use, but these were far from sanitary. Then came the Renaissance, a period of great cultural and intellectual growth. It sparked a resurgence in sanitation awareness. While toilets remained crude, the concept of cleanliness and the understanding of its link to health started to re-emerge. It's a grim picture, but things are about to get better. Welcome to the era of the modern toilet, a revolution that changed the face of sanitation. This revolution began in the 16th century with Sir John Harrington, an English courtier and the godson of Queen Elizabeth I. Sir Harrington is credited with inventing the first flush toilet, a contraption he named Ajax, a playful nod to the slang term Jakes used for toilets back then. This innovative device used water from an upstairs cistern that would wash away the waste into a cesspool. However, despite its ingenuity, Sir Harrington's invention did not immediately catch on. It would take about 200 years before the flush toilet would see a resurgence. Enter Thomas Crapper, a name that has since become synonymous with toilets. Despite the popular myth, Thomas Crapper did not invent the toilet. He was, however, instrumental in popularizing it. A plumber by trade, Crapper started a sanitary ware company in the late 19th century. He held several patents for improvements to drainage systems, water closets, and manhole covers. His showrooms displayed lavatories, making the idea of indoor plumbing more accessible to the masses. Alongside these advancements, another important development took place in the world of sanitation the advent of toilet paper. 
This product, now a staple in bathrooms around the world, was first introduced in the United States in the mid-19th century. Originally marketed as a medicinal product it quickly became popular for its intended use, transforming the bathroom experience forever. The modern toilet revolution was not just about convenience, it was a significant step in improving public health reducing the spread of diseases and promoting personal hygiene. It has undoubtedly played a pivotal role in shaping our modern lifestyles. From then on the humble toilet has continued to evolve, leading to the sophisticated systems we have today. But what does the future hold for toilets? As we move forward, the humble toilet is set to get a futuristic makeover. Imagine a world where waterless toilets are the norm. By vaporizing waste or converting it into burnable fuel, these toilets could help us save billions of gallons of water each year. Now let's talk about smart toilets. With features like automatic flush, self-cleaning capabilities and even health monitoring systems, these toilets are not just about comfort, they're about revolutionizing our approach to health and hygiene. But that's not all. The future may bring us toilets that can recycle waste into power, or toilets that can analyze our waste for early signs of illness. We might even see toilets that are completely self-sustaining, requiring no external water or power sources. Who knows what the toilet of the future will look like? But one thing's for sure, the history of toilets is a testament to human ingenuity and the pursuit of comfort and hygiene. Are you interested in learning about the history of stoves? Click on this video now. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode of the History of Random Stuff.